concept where I've seen a lot of you getting stuck is the difference between gross domestic private investment and net domestic private investment. Really big terms, not difficult to understand when you break them down into pieces. Domestic means we're talking about within the United States. That's why we're using this to calculate gross domestic product. Private meaning that it's individuals and not government, because if the government is spending money, that goes into a different calculation. And with investment, we're usually talking about spending by businesses on capital equipment. So shorthand, gross investment versus net investment, if you want to think of it that way. Anytime you go from a number that is a gross calculation to a net calculation, it means that you have subtracted something out. For example, your gross pay minus something equals your net pay. If you look at a pay stub, what is being subtracted out of a paycheck? Lots and lots and lots and lots of whoops, taxes. So your gross pay tends to be a lot higher than your net pay. For most of the jobs I've had in my life, the gross pay, which is 100% of what you start with, is a lot bigger than what I usually see as my net pay, which is more like 65%. Gross net. Net means we took something out with a paycheck. That's what it is. Now, with gross and net domestic investment, obviously we're not talking about taxes. Taxes do not come into play here. Not with this one. We're looking at the difference between what you spent on the assets that you purchased and what they're actually worth. So you spend a certain amount of money, for example, on a fleet of delivery trucks. Let's say you're UPS. You buy delivery trucks. You have to have them. You know, what can Brown do for you? They can bring you stuff in Brown trucks. That's what they do. So you have the money that you spent. The money that you spent is the gross number. Now, what takes away from the value of those assets? Over the course of time, as they are being used, as they age, they lose value. That process of losing value is called depreciation. that are used in production depreciate. How does that happen? Well, to go back to the example of the delivery trucks, you buy a new truck and it has new tires. You drive it, you know, a few, I don't know, tens of thousands of miles. you got to buy new tires. You have wear and tear on the engine. You have to get tune-ups. You have to replace parts. Maybe the suspension gets screwed up. There are lots of different things that have to be fixed on a vehicle. If you're buying computers, computers depreciate. They become outmoded. Sometimes they become outmoded or outdated very quickly, and they have to be upgraded, either with new parts or with new technology. So if you're buying computers for an IT shop, then in six months, they may not be worth anything like what you paid for them. That's depreciation. Your assets lose value. Do other things depreciate? Yes, money also depreciates. But in this context, what we're looking at is the value of an asset, and assets that you use in production depreciates. Machines break, things have to be fixed, and that kind of stuff happens. I so depreciate it if you'd explain that a little better. Thanks, dear. Um, ignore the man behind the camera. All right, so you have the gross number, which is the total amount that you spent on what you bought, minus the depreciation equals the net number. So the gross is what you spent, the net is what it's actually worth. 
And the difference is your loss in value. All right, good.